Welcome to AI Discovery Channel. Looking for an interesting way to spend a journey or kill some spare time? Join us today for another AI-generated audiobook. Today we take you on an enthralling journey to discover a love story passed down from the ancient world. Eternal Love The Story of Mark Antony and Cleopatra Chapter 1 The Meeting Alexandria 41 B.C. The sun dipped low over the shimmering waters of the Mediterranean, casting a golden hue upon the city of Alexandria. In the heart of this ancient metropolis, Cleopatra, the enigmatic queen of Egypt, stood on her palace balcony, gazing out at the bustling harbor. Her beauty was legendary, and her intellect matched her physical allure. The weight of her kingdom bore heavily on her shoulders, but on this evening her thoughts were consumed by a desire for something more. Cleopatra turned to her servant. Send word to him again. I cannot bear this waiting any longer, she said. A magnificent Roman ship with billowing sails and a figurehead of a golden eagle made its grand entrance into the harbor. On board, the commander of this formidable vessel, Mark Antony, strode confidently towards the bow, his armor glinting in the setting sun. He disembarked, and Cleopatra descended to meet him. Mark Antony, you took your time, she said with a smile. I apologize, my queen, Antony replied with a grin. Rome's duties can be relentless, you know. They shared a playful dance, and Cleopatra jested for Mark Antony to follow her. Come, let us escape these wars for a while. Chapter 2 The Dawn of Romance Cleopatra's Palace, Alexandria Cleopatra led Mark Antony through the opulent halls of her palace. As they walked, her charm and charisma worked their magic on the Roman commander, ensnaring him in her web of allure. Your palace, Cleopatra, is unlike anything I've ever seen, Antony marveled. And it's only a glimpse of the treasures that lie within my kingdom, Cleopatra said as she turned and smiled. They were climbed on a couch, and Cleopatra poured wine for Antony. Their conversation flowed like the Nile itself, meandering through tales of conquests, dreams of empires, and the intoxicating allure of power. But beneath the grandiose words, an electric tension simmered between them. Cleopatra leaned in, her voice merely a whisper. Tell me, Mark Antony, do you believe in destiny? Antony's glaze intensified. I believe that some things are written in the stars, waiting for us to claim them. Their fingers brushed and their eyes locked. And what if our destinies were entwined, Mark Antony? Cleopatra asked, her eyes twinkling in the flame-lit palatial setting. Antony leaned closer, their lips almost touching. Then, my queen, it is a fate I would gladly embrace. Chapter 3 The Alliance the Battle of Actium, 31 B.C. As their love blossomed, so did their ambitions. Cleopatra and Mark Antony forged a powerful alliance, one that sent shockwaves through Rome. They sought to build a new world, with Cleopatra ruling over Egypt and Antony over Rome. The stage was set for a grand naval battle and Mark Antony commanded his forces with determination. The Battle of Actium would determine the fate of their alliance and the course of history. The sky was overcast, 
mirroring the uncertainty that loomed over both sides. We must retreat, Antony. Save yourself. Cleopatras shouted desperately from her gold-cladded battleship as the violence raged on. But Antony, fueled by his love for Cleopatra and his unwavering determination, refused to yield. He stood at the helm of his flagship, the Antonia, his eyes fixed on the enemy ships approaching. It was a pivotal moment in his life, one that would define his legacy. I will not abandon you, my love, Antony declared, his voice carrying across the tumultuous sea to Cleopatra, like honeydew to her ears. In this moment, the depths of her love for her courageous Lionheart intensified to the depths of eternity. The clash of swords and a roar of catapults filled the air as the battle unfolded. Octavian's fleet, led by the brilliant tactician Agrippa, pressed the attack relentlessly. Antony's ships were outnumbered and his forces were stretched thin. Cleopatra watched anxiously from her ship, her heart heavy with worry for Antony. Meanwhile, on land, Octavian's legions were steadily advancing towards Alexandria, intent on bringing Egypt under his control. Cleopatra and Antony knew that their love alone could not withstand the might of Rome. Chapter 4 The Fall Alexandria 30 BC Despite Antony's braveness at Actium, he eventually had to retreat his legacy in tatters. The news of Antony's defeat had reached Rome, and Cleopatra knew that her love was in grave danger. She welcomed him back to Alexandria, where they retreated from the world, their love for each other their only solace. Antony, Rome will never accept us, Cleopatra lamented. I know my love, Antony replied regretfully, but I cannot turn my back on you. They were in a chamber surrounded by the riches of Egypt, but their hearts were heavy. What can we do, Antony? Cleopatra asked despairingly. We will face this together, Cleopatra, to the end, Antony declared. But the end was fast approaching. Octavian, Antony's rival in Rome, declared war on Cleopatra and Antony. The final battle drew near. Chapter 5 the tragedy, Cleopatra's chamber. As the forces of Octavian closed in, Cleopatra and Mark Antony were trapped in their pallets. Their love, once a source of strength, now became their undoing. We cannot let Octavian capture us, Antony. It would be the end of us both, Cleopatra said with desperation. You are right, my love. I cannot bear to see you suffer, Antony replied with resignation. Cleopatra produced a vial of poison, and they exchanged a tearful farewell, the tragedy of life and death overwhelming them both. For eternity, my Antony, she whispered. They kissed one final time, and Cleopatra drank the poison. Antony followed suit. They collapsed onto a couch, life ebbing away. Together, Cleopatra, Antony murmured as they took their last breaths. The sound of battle grew distant and the curtain fell. Chapter 6 Immortal Love The Afterlife In death, Cleopatra and Mark Antony found each other once more. Their love transcended the mortal realm, and they existed in an eternal embrace 
in the afterlife, free from the burdens of empires and politics. The stage transformed into a celestial setting, with stars and galaxies swirling around the reunited lovers. We are together, Antony, forever, Cleopatra whispered. Yes, my love, for all eternity, Antony replied with contentment. They faded into the cosmic tapestry, their love immortal and undying. Chapter 7 Legacy of Love Eternal Remembrance Their love story became the stuff of legends, whispered across the ages. In the annals of history, the names of Mark Antony and Cleopatra were forever entwined. Their passionate and tragic romance left an indelible mark on the world, a testament to the power of love that defied empires and even death itself. Through the sands of time, their story continued to captivate hearts, a reminder that true love, though fleeting in life, could transcend the boundaries of mortality and live on forever in the realm of eternity. And as the world turned, the stars above shone a little brighter, for Mark Antony and Cleopatra were together forever in the arms of the cosmos. Chapter 8 The Echoes of Egypt Cleopatra's Legacy In the wake of Cleopatra's tragic death, the fate of Egypt hung in the balance. Octavian, now the undisputed ruler of Rome, sought to bring Egypt under his control. The once great empire faced the looming shadow of annexation. As news of Cleopatra's demise spread throughout Egypt, a deep sense of mourning gripped the land. The people wept for their beloved queen, the last in a line of pharaohs stretching back centuries. Cleopatra's rule had brought prosperity and stability to Egypt, and her death marked the end of an era. She was the epitome of beauty, adored by her subjects, revered by her enemies, a type of nobility never to be seen again. Those that knew her would relay her legend down throughout the ages. But never again would the name Cleopatra be mentioned without her eternal love, Mark Antony. This has been an AI Discovery Channel production. If you have enjoyed the content then please consider liking and subscribing for similar enthralling content. Check out our other content by clicking the video on the screen now. Thanks for watching.